it's Katie and today I have a super duper humongous haul for you guys and it's very very Christmassy and I am so hype for this month and next month because this month is my birthday and I'm going to Disney so I am super duper uber uber excited for that and next month of course you know Christmas, fa la la la, bitch. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. And I'm excited, dude. Like, I got a lot to be excited about. This weekend, I have Link. And if you guys don't know what Link is, pretty much my school. Um, it's pretty much this thing where, like, teachers, they see leadership qualities in you. And you go to this camp for the weekend with other kids from your school. And you pretty much all learn, like, do, like, team building exercises. Pretty much to just strengthen those qualities you have to apply them in school. Like, kind of, like, teaching you how to be, how to use the good qualities you have and use them in everyday life, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, you might already be doing that, but, like, I don't know. It's just, like, camp exercises type of stuff like that, like. Nobody really knows what they do there. Like, that's why it's so hard to explain to people because you're not allowed to tell other people what you've done there because it's supposed to be like, if you tell them, it ruins their experience if they end up going at some point. So you can't tell people because you don't want to ruin their experience. Do you, do you feel me? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. And my favorite teacher is going with me, so that's awesome too. So yeah, so I have that this weekend. Then next week, I got Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to Disney. And literally Thanksgiving's going to be very weird because I'll be, because my aunt and uncle are coming in and my little baby cousin Gianna, well she's not a baby anymore, she's like six, seven maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the worst cousin ever, like I will not know your age. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so they're flying in from Arizona and they never fly in anymore. So that's like, like, no, 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 they do, but like, it's usually only for like the summertime and yeah, like some, it's weird. Just my uncle comes in for business sometimes and sometimes he can bring them, sometimes he can't. Uh, so yeah, so they're coming in for Thanksgiving and it's going to be awesome. Well, like, it's weird, but like, not like, it's not weird because, well, it is weird because they used to come, I know this is like so weird. <laughs> I'm just saying to, come on, Katie, get it together. Um, they usually, okay, so. Let me just take a breath because I'm, oh, okay, so they used to come in for Christmas, like that was years and years ago, like I had to be very young when they used to do that because they used to come in for holidays and Gianna was a baby when they did that, so yeah, that was a really long time ago, but they did used to come in for holidays, so that's why it's weird for me because they usually don't come in for holidays, but it's not weird because they did used to come in for holidays. That probably was not helpful, but that's all I got. So, yes, they're coming in. So, on Thanksgiving's a Thursday, right? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, pretty much, if Thanksgiving is on a Thursday, then we will... Yeah, I think... Mm, yeah, Doug is Black Friday. Duh, I'm stupid, okay? Just, just shut up. Um, so, pretty much since... Yeah, Black Friday is Friday, and that's always the day after Thanksgiving. So, duh, Thanksgiving's always the Thursday. I'm stupid. It's okay. Um... Sorry, there's like the holidays sometimes that actually like switch what day it is. Sometimes they're not consecutive, like they're not always on that date. Sometimes they are. Whatever. So yes, focus, 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 focus. I'm sorry, I have ADHD and it's hard for me to focus. <laughs> so, um, the, we will be going Wednesday night, I'm pretty sure. Yes, Wednesday night. So Thanksgiving Eve. Yes, I put Eve at the end of every holiday night before. Eve is not just for Christmas, it's for anything you want. Halloween Eve, Thanksgiving Eve, birthday Eve, shut it. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so on Thanksgiving Eve, we'll drive up and spend fo the family time and with, at my grandmom's in New Jersey. And, ew. and my uncle, Chris, and Aunt Jen will have already have been there, if that makes sense. Like, they, are, they are, have a lot of people to visit, like my Aunt Jen's family and other people that they need to visit so they would have already have visited a lot of people now we come up on Thanksgiving Eve we get to spend fa family time with everybody and then we sleep over then the next morning we drive back up because I have to be back here for my dad's Thanksgiving because I have to go to my dad's on Thanksgiving as well I know it's complicated <laughs> try having divorced parents um so yes so and then I'll go to my dad's for Thanksgiving pretty 
whatever. Uh, so my Thanksgiving is kind of going to be chaotic because I've never actually done something like this before where I've actually like driven somewhere for Thanksgiving. Usually I just stay here and I'll go to my dad's and then I'll come back here. And we used to go to my grandmom's, which is really just like, I mean, my grandpops and grandmoms because I only really call my grandmom at the beach grandmoms, whatever. Um, we would drive up to like Malvern to go see my other grandparents usually, but we stopped doing that. Now we just have our own Thanksgiving meal here. So usually I'll just come back and eat here again. And yeah, I had, I have a lot of Thanksgiving meals. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I keep saying, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a repetitive person. <laughs> and I love that too because I'm like, oh, she keeps saying, um, oh, she keeps doing this, this, and that. And I'm like, wait a minute, I do that too. So <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, and I say, so, yeah, yeah, whatever, I say whatever, it's okay, um, but, so, yeah, that's, that, I'm gonna have a, so, it's weird for me to finally actually be going somewhere for Thanksgiving instead of just staying here and going to my dad's, like, yeah, I do have to take the, like, drive a lot around on Thanksgiving, because I have to go to my dad's and come back and, like, things like that. But, like, I've never actually had to drive out of state, so it's going to be chaotic, and I'm okay with that. I like chaoticness. Like, not, like, stressful chaos. I like chaos where it's, like, the family's all here, we're having fun, it's awesome, like, things like that. Like, I like chaos where it's, like, cool. I know that sounds kind of, like, weird, like, yeah, chaos, but, like, I don't know. I like good chaos, if that makes sense. I mean, there's really no such thing as good chaos, but, like, I don't know. I, like... It gets chaotic when there's a lot of people in the house, and I really love that, because that means, like, everybody's here. But, yeah, so, I'm pretty cool with chaos. I mean, I can get stressed out, but it's okay. But, yeah, so then, the day after Thanksgiving, literally the day after, uh, we go to Disney, and I'm gonna be there for a week, and I'm gonna... Uh, we're gonna turn freaking 16 in Disney, la da da I don't even care about having a party. I mean, like I do, but I don't really have friends, so it's okay. It's not like I would have, like, you know what I mean? Like, ah. Anyways, so I'm pretty okay with having a Sweet 16 party because, girl, I'm going to my most favorite place on earth. I'm going to Disney freaking world. I'm going to my real home. I'm going with my real, my real friends to the most happiest place on earth where there is no bullies, no judgment, no bitchiness, no annoyingness that school brings, no anxiety. I'm going to Disney. I'm okay with my entire existence right now. And 16 has always been a birthday to me. That's like really important. That's Disney Channel's fault because I've watched so many like Sweet 16 spectaculars on Disney. So like, you know what I mean? Like TV shows like Alex's Sweet 16. Wait, no, that was her quinceanera. But I wish I had a quinceanera. I told my dad, I'm gonna, when I'm older, I'm gonna make myself a quinceanera. Like 25, I'm gonna make it a 25 quinceanera. But I'm hoping this is gonna be like one of the most awesomest birthdays. I, I I would say that, but like I'm not gonna jinx it. And we don't know what's gonna happen. You know, something bad could happen. Pray to God it doesn't. And praying to God it's gonna be awesome, awesome. Cause I want it to be. But you know, you never know. You never know anymore. Anyways, so yes, I am so excited for everything, and I'm not letting myself be Christmas until I get on that plane to go to Florida, and I will listen to some Christmas jams. But um, over the weekend, I was at, uh, which is why I have this haul going on right now. I went shopping at the outlets in Philadelphia, and girl, they be Christmas AF. Oh, dang. Okay, sorry. But yes, they really be. And uh, it was so cool and like so nice and magical because they had all these lights up and whatever. It was so cute. Uh, and they were playing Christmas music, so it really got me in the spirit. And I went to Bath and Body Works, and they had all kinds of Christmas stuff out. So I was just, oh, I got in the spirit. It was so good. Oof. And I was like, stop it, self. Because what happened with Halloween is I got so Halloween-y in September. I know that's such a weird thing to say, Halloween-y. But I got really in the mood for Halloween in September. But when October came, the whole month, I was like, wait, it's Halloween this month? What? And I don't want that happening with Christmas. I want myself to be in the spirit the whole month and enjoy it. And I want to enjoy my birthday and my my birthday is a month long thing I mean like not really but like I don't know I say that but then I never end up celebrating my birthday until when it actually comes like the week it actually comes I don't know I've been like making my birthday such a big deal to people and I'm just like I don't even really like I care about birthdays I think they're like really cool whenever but it's like I don't like I don't know like I sound so conceited I constantly tell people like remember my birthday but I really don't even like care if they remember or not like that's a thing like I'm like these people probably think I'm so conceited constantly making them remember my birthday when I really don't even care if someone wishes me a happy birthday like dude I mean I care it means a lot to me if you actually remembered and you you tell me but like 
you know, you know what I mean. It's like, I don't, it's, whatever. But I'm so excited for my birthday. I mean, I, to me, it doesn't really matter if you get old, but like right now, like this year, like I never have care. Like I've always like said like, why do people like care if they're getting old? Like it's, it's the circle of life and like all ages are fine. Like it doesn't matter if you're 40. Like, I still count that as really young. And I've always said that, but now I'm like, turning 16 and my brother just turned 17 it was really with my brother like I don't really care about my age but with him I'm like oh my god he's gonna be 18 he's gonna be a legal adult like what the hell I was literally having like one of those mom moments like oh like my baby's leaving the freaking nest what the hell but like I really don't but, um, no, I am so, 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 so happy about my birthday, and, but, like, yeah, that was, like, the first time I was actually, like, oh, aging, no, I don't want to be an adult, I, no, I want to stay a kid, I want to be five for the rest of my life, seriously, but that can't happen, but whatever, I, I'm really excited about being 16, and I know, like, being 16 really is not a change, you can drive, but I don't know, I've just always thought 16 was, like, a really special age, I don't know, to me, like, just, like, because you, you get the sweet 16 or whatever. And I'm getting a really sweet, sweet, sweet 16 because I'm going to Disney. What, 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 And that's, like, the bestest thing I could ask for that was always on the top of my wish list whenever I asked for something for Christmas or my birthday. It was always a Disney trip, so it means just so much to me that I get to go on my actual birthday for my sweet 16. Like, it means so much to me. And, yeah, um, maybe I'll make some friends there, you know what I mean? That'd be like weird, whatever. Um, but yeah. So on to the haul. I'm sorry, I took a lot of time talking, but whatever. Um, but it's actually like really sad because I had this one friend that we always said we wanted to go to Disney together, and I'm finally going, and we're not friends anymore. And so like I was really actually like sad. I was like, oh, we were supposed to be going together, even though I'm not like. I didn't get, like, a plus one by my parents, like, saying, like, oh, you could take your friend with you. No. Like, I like I didn't get that, but, like, I don't really care about that. I mean, like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just, like, we had planned it, and it was just, like, kind of, like, a sad thing. Like, oh, Like, I can't even, like, tell her, like, anymore. Like, she was always, like, the go-to person I went to, like, said, like, oh, my God, guess what this? Like, la, la, la. And, like, it was sad. Like, I couldn't even tell her I was going to Disney because, like, we're not friends anymore. Like, she stopped being my friend because of a whole long story. But yeah, so whatever, I'm still super happy, and I'm actually going with my bestest friends in the whole world, my mommy and my bubba, who are my bestest friends, so it works out okay, dokey. And my mom is, I want to thank my mom and bubba, they have gone through so much work and so much effort and time on, on like planning this trip and doing all the stuff they need to do, like, I thank them so much from the bottom of my heart, like, it's so amazing and sweet, like, just all the stuff they've done and they've been planning this for months and months and months and they like told me like in August and I'm just so so excited and I just want to thank them so much because it's all thanks to them and I'm so blessed and I love them so 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 freaking much and they are my bestest friends in the whole world and I don't know what I'll do without them and I just don't I'm just so thankful and blessed and I don't know what I'll do without them and I said that already oh well <laughs> But yeah, I'm so excited to get to go with them because I've never gone with them. It's actually going to be Bubba's first time. Um, actually, I did go with my mom, but I was like a baby. I was like six months, so like, you know, it doesn't really count. Um, but I've always only ever gone with my dad, and I've... And don't get me wrong, I was really happy that I got to go, but seriously, like, with my dad, it was, you woke up at the crack of dawn, you woke up at 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, it did not matter. If that park was opening at that certain time, you woke up, you ate, and you got to that park, and you stayed to, at, till when that park closed. It could have been 9 o'clock, it could have been 10 o'clock, doesn't matter, you're staying, you stay. And of course, I was still super happy to be in Disney, but if you watch my Snapchat stories and you see the pictures in my room of me with my cranky face and all the pictures, you understand why I am not the person you wake up in the morning. I sleep late. I will stay up late. I'm not a morning person whatsoever. I mean, I like waking up at 9, even though I usually wake up around 10. I do like waking up around 9. Because I don't like wasting my day, but he woke me up at like 6, 7. No, no, you let Katie sleep. You do not want to wake Katie up. Whew! Whatever. Anyways, 
so yes, I am just so excited and I'm going with my two bestest friends in the whole world. And I don't even care if I'm not bringing a friend, I'm going with my actual two bestest friends, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? And yeah. I wouldn't want to bring a friend. It's like, why would we bring a friend? Like, friends are not permanent, guys. Like, everyone acts like you're going to be best friends with th these people the rest of your lives. And I've talked to so many different people who are out of high school. They don't even talk to their high school friends, like, out of college and stuff like that. And, like, moms and dads, they don't talk to their high school friends. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like friends are not forever. And uh, family is. And they are my bestest friends. And I don't know what I'll do without them. So I'm so happy I get to go with them. And they are the real MVPs. Okay, into the haul. Sorry, this took way too long. Let's start with Bath and Body Works because I have a lot of stuff in Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works time. La, 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 la. So I just want to go on record. This for this these I got all the stuff from the outlets. And what the outlets are is they're pretty like they're pretty much discounted. Like they're the store and they have everything in the store, but it's not. Is it not as expensive? I don't know. I guess so. Uh, no, I feel like it is still. Exp it's. I think it's still the same price. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No. A lot of the stores like sell them for cheaper. It's pretty much like, it's the same store, but it, it just sells the items for cheaper. I guess. I don't know about Bath and Body Works. Like, let me see. La 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 la. Whatever. I don't know. Um. But they have amazing deals all the time, and sales and stuff like that. So like. I don't know. They're just different than the regular stores. I mean, it's just still the same thing, but they just have good deals and stuff like that. But yeah, we had a lot of coupons as well. So like, I'm just saying like, uh, this makes me look like a millionaire, but seriously, we just had a lot of coupons and a lot of good deals. And that's why there's just so much of this crap, but let's get into it. So even though we have this in the bathroom right now, my stepdad, Bubba Bear, he's obsessed with everything peach and he loves peach balami. And it really does smell amazing like peaches. But I told him, I'm like, dude, we have this, we have this, like, away right now in, like, the closet or something. And just no one's taking it out. And he's like, seriously, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. And he, but he, like, still bought it because, like, this is his favorite. So, like, who cares? Um, like, not who cares that this is his favorite. But, like, who cares if he bought it again? Like, this is his favorite. So, like, why not? Uh, but, yeah. So, he loves this. So, this is really for Bebe. Um... Sweet pea, so like pretty much when uh when there's deals like this, Bubba and I we like kind of like split it if you know what I mean. We're like, like if it's like a, like with the hand sanitizers, how it's usually five dollars for five dollars, and that deals even like that's usually in the real stores. Well, we usually shop in the real stores. We're just at, like we're at the outlets because my brother was going to a football game and near there, and so we dropped him off and went to the outlets. But yeah, so there was a deal for soaps and or whatever and whatever. One of our coupons was like a good deal and so we spent it on soaps because we do love soaps and we really don't have any. Um, and so yeah, so we like split it like... So there were six. So he got three and I got three. And so this was another one of his picks, Sweet, sweet Pea, because he really likes Sweet Pea. Like we wanted to get like general soaps, not just Christmas soaps as well because, you know, why wouldn't we? And I've always loved Sweet Pea. Like when I first started li liking Bath and Body Works years ago... This was one of the things I was really, like, I really love. I don't even, like, really know how to, like, describe Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea Petals, Sheer Frisia, and Luscious Raspberry. Okay, yeah, I kind of smell that raspberry up in there. I kind of do. Mmm, I don't know. That's a weird description, though. I've never smelled peas that smell this good, but okay. Uh, but yeah, I really like that scent. Um... Hello. And so I got this one because, like, it did remind me of, like, a Christmas scent. I mean, I've always loved warm sh warm vanilla sugar. But um, it kind of also remember reminded me of a, uh, of a Chris uh, like, it kind of just looks Christmassy. And, like, the warm sugariness to it kind of reminds me of Christmas as well. I was going for, like, cr picking Christmas candles. I mean, not candles. Uh, Christmas soaps. But yeah, it smells really good. And I, I was like going through the soaps and a lot of them that were like the general smells like this. Like, you know, this is like a, they have like temporary smells and that like they were only there for like the season or whatever. And then they have like the originals. I don't, I, they had a word for these. I can't remember anymore. 
but I'm just gonna call them the originals. So like the original ones that stay there forever and have been there for years. Yeah, the this is one of them. Um, so I was going through the originals like Sweet Pea, like Sweet Pea is another one. Both of them, I think Peach Balami is actually a new, uh, one of the most recent ones that were added to the originals. Cause I thought it was just for the summer, but it's still it's still here. So like I guess it's been added. Um, I wonder if they just do that. They're like, oh, this one's marketing really well. Let's keep it around, you know. Anyways, um. So yeah, so I was going through a lot of the originals, and a lot of them did not smell as good as soaps. A lot of them were actually, like, really gross as soaps. So I was kind of like, ew. And then I smelled this one, I was like, ooh, it smells just like the original. Good! And I, I liked it, and I liked this one. So I was like, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so then this one's Tis the Season, and this was another one of my picks. Uh... I love how on the side it actually gives you a description of what it's supposed to smell like. So then you have a more general idea of what it's supposed to smell like. But yeah, I wanted to grab a lot of the Christmas scents. Oh, snit on a rope. What the hell? They freaking dripped on me. That is so nasty. Beep. Commercial break. I hate that, like, when you open these soaps, like, they're so spillable. I know spillable is not really a word, but they, like, spill really easily. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, red apple, fresh cinnamon, and gloves. Cloves. Cloves. Whatever that is. I got... Mm -hmm, yeah, I can smell that apple smell and that cinnamon smell. So, yeah, I definitely smell the apple and the cinnamon in this, and I kind of smell a berry smell to it, even though it's not in the description, but I think this smells really good, and I was really happy with how this smelled. So, yeah. So, I was like, yes, let's get it, and it's the season. Look how cute it is. I know, packaging is, like, something that, like, really, like, makes me drawn to it. I mean, if I don't like the smell, I'm not going to get it, but, you know. And then, oh my gosh, so I... That was a weird way I said, oh my gosh. Anyways, so I love, love, love anything that smells like a Christmas tree. I am a freaking obsessed with it. I'm buying. Not really. But, um, this is Fresh Balsam. And literally, uh, we have this candle, a Yankee candle. We always make sure to have one every year. And I just love them because it really makes the room smell like a Christmas tree. And sometimes your Christmas tree, like, you know, it starts, like, diffusion sets in. You start to just get used to the smell and um you know you just get used to it and you no longer notice the smell anymore I mean sometimes you do like it's just weird but that's why I love having the candle around because it really illuminates the smell more and you really smell it more and I just love anything that smells like a Christmas tree because I love Christmas trees and it smells just like a Christmas tree I have Christmas tree hand sanitizer Christmas tree candles and I finally got the soap and I just want to go on record that I want to thank mommy and Bubba again because they got all this stuff with our coupons and yes, and I want to thank them because they are the absolute bestest. And yeah, and so and I just want to go on note, like this stuff is not all for me. Like we're all going to share their stuff. Like I don't want anyone to like think that they like, like, no, you wouldn't think anything by it. We all share this stuff. Like besides Bubba, Bubba's not about to put perfume on himself. You know what I mean? Like he's not about to do that. I mean, he does really like my peach perfume, but he's not like, I don't know. You got me. Um, but yeah, so, like, we're all gonna use the hand sanitizers, we're all gonna use the soaps, like, this isn't just, like, oh my god, she's a spoiled little brat, like, no, it's, we all use it, we all love each other, like, um, I'm not a spoiled brat, I am spoiled, and I'm very blessed about that, and, yeah, yeah, I don't really need to explain myself, because there's really no reason to, but I feel the need sometimes, because I don't want to come off that way as, like, oh my god, she's spoiled, like, she gets stuff, like, for, like, no reason, like, she can't, like, she doesn't use her own money and, like, stuff like that. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, ignore that. But whatever, I'm just saying, like, I don't want you guys to, like, think that, like, I don't know. Who cares? I don't need to explain myself. I know my relationship with my mommy and bubba. I know they love me. I love them. And that we all are going to use this. And this is a family thing. This isn't whatever. I don't care what anyone has to say. And I am spoiled. And you can call me bratty if you want to. I don't care. But yes, I just want to thank them so much because, you know, you know, because, yeah. But we had awesome coupons, and that's really why we went shopping, because, like, we had coupons. Well, really, we had to, like, drop John off at his game, and so, yeah, we were like, why not? So, moving on, I got Harvest Table, and yeah, just ignore it. Maybe I'll edit that out, I don't know. Whatever. And it's citrus, cranberry, and sage, and this smells really, really good. I don't know if I want to open it. Last time I spilled... 
Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I'm smelling that citrus. I'm smelling that sage, too. But I really like this because it was, like, Thanksgiving. I was like, yeah. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I gotta use this a lot now. Like, not really. I can save it for next year. But it's like, I, forgot. I gotta get on the ball with that thing because Thanksgiving's coming up. I mean, you could technically keep it around for Christmas. But it reminds me of fall. I mean, not fall. Thanksgiving. Um, moving on to the lotions, uh, Bubba got this one, and it's White Peach Sangrita Get Happy, and he's literally a sucker for anything peach. Yep, smells peachy. And they were having this deal on lotions, all lotions were only $3, so that was really nice. See, like, that's the outlet deals, that, like, they do things like that. And then I got Winter Candy Apple. Oh my gosh, Winter Candy Apple has been around for years, and it's always been one of my favorite Christmas scents, and I love it so much. Whew! Oops, I gotta put this crap back. Boy. Dun 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 I wouldn't let anyone touch it. I'm like, no, I want to do a haul. Ah! We actually, oops, crap. We actually have all of our, like, hand sanitizers. Well, the ones that we have found. Well, I don't know why I put air quotes. And, like, low, and like other soaps laid out right next to me. Because we were trying to get them all together. Because we want to have a more organized function. Than them just being all, like, sporadically placed around my house. I almost thought, I thought it was 5 o'clock already. I was like, what? Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay. I forgot we got something at first. I was like, what? Okay, so... Yeah, that, those were all the lotions we got. We only got two because, like, you know, they were each $3, and we just got, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, moving on to the body sprays. Well, fine fragrance mixed. Wow. So, I got a uh, gingerbread latte, and if y'all know, if you watched my fall haul, you would know I love the pumpkin spice latte, and I've loved that for years. And I smelled the gingerbread latte, and it smelled, like, Mm, like a more Christmassy scent to the pumpkin, and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. Like, I can Oh, yes. Uh, so yeah, so we got this, and there's another deal with these things. Like, there's a lot of deals. The whole outlet stores were having great deals, because that's what they are. They're just, like, deal mania. So, yeah. Um, so it's, it smells so good. Like, I don't even, I can't even, like, pin the smell. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Like gingerbread and a latte. Like it smells like coffee and gingerbread. So yeah. Mm, not all it smells like that all in the air. And so I got vanilla bean Noel and I was like, if Bethany even though I'm not a fan of Bethany Moda anymore, I was like, if Bethany Moda does not get this, I'm gonna be like, shun shun girl, like shame shame. I don't know. But mm, it smells really so good. Like it smells like a nice vanilla, like Christmassy scent that you just kind of smells like, I don't know, like, it's, like, it's, I'm not, I'm, like, the worst at giving descriptions about these things, <laughs> but seriously, like, it's, like, I can't, like, describe it any more than the name, like, it smells like a van vanilla, and, like, Christmas vanilla, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, Bethany Body Works has this new smell, it's called Magic in the Air, and my mom must have liked it, because, uh, Jesus, that's hard to come off, because we got it, and, um, I don't know, I didn't really like it that much, but I guess she did. I don't know, I, I didn't think it was that great. I don't know, but it, I, don't, I can't really smell it, like, and I don't really want to spray it because it's hers, but, I don't know, let's, well, she got the, uh, the bath wash, so. Mmm, a very perfumey type smell. It kind of smells like my old shampoo. <laughs> Yeah, just kind of like perfumey, shampooy smell. Like the kind of like basic smell you can get with shampoo and perfume. Um, then I also got Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that smells so good. Sorry. But I got Vanilla Bean Noel in the body spray. I was, I know, I was like looking at it like, wait a minute, did I get this? Yes, I did. But I really like the smell. I thought it smelled really nice. And I really like the moisturizer, even though I really don't think it does that much great for moisturizing. I think it smells really good. And it's really, like, re once you put it on your skin, it's really vibrant and you can really smell it. So I really like that about it. But I really like the smell and that's why I got 
like both of them and I, then I got like the candy apple and like the lotion and the tiny one so I kind of got like each of every one besides the coconut one there's a coconut one and it just it just reminded me too much of like summer like I, I all I could really smell was the coconut part of it so it's just like nah um and I really like these more so yeah that smells like a Christmas vanilla -y cookie with like mm, I don't even like know how to describe that it's so good so yeah I got that uh, so, yeah, so I got, yeah, mm. but this, is that this was, um, no, but, yeah, just, yeah. so, yeah, that's what, that, those were the perfumes we got, and whatever, then we had two candles we had to return, so, so, we got, uh, if you saw my fall haul, we got some candles, but one of them was actually broken, so we had to return it, and then another one, the leaves one, uh, we all decided we didn't like it, but I actually liked it, but we returned it, and we got two new ones, we were just kind of like, well, like, now it's the end of fall, let's return them for Christmas, and I was like, okay, yeah, sure, it makes more sense, so, yeah, so we got two candles, and, okay, this one, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this one, so, so last year, I was at my friend Ava's house, and she, like, put a candle on, and it smelled a uh, freaking amazing. I was like, dude, what candle is that? And she told me, and I went to Bath and Body Works, and I got it. Like, the next time I went, I got it. They brought it back, and I was so freaking happy. I mean, they changed the picture, but I like this one, actually, like, a lot more. Like, it's cuter, but it's still the same color, and I really liked the color last year. But I love this smell so much, and I was addicted to it. And It was pretty much like the other candle, the latte one for fall. Like, this is literally the candle I have now for winter that I love so much. And I'm so happy that my family has gotten more on board with the Bath and Body Works candles because we used to only like Yankee Candle. Well, mainly uh, Mom and Bubba like to steer more to Yankee Candle and really liked only Yankee Candle's candles. I mean, they still liked Bath and Body Works, but we really just bought from Yankee Candle. I don't really know. And so I'm so happy that I finally got them to like branch out more and buy more of Bath and Like, not buy more, but like. But yeah, so just like actually being more down to like getting. Bath and Body Works candles, if that makes sense, because they were kind of just like, oh, but like, like yeah, we just kind of got more Yankee candles back then. Like now we get more both, if that makes sense, like more of a mixture of both, because we love both. And yeah, so this is my like all time favorite candle. I'm so thanks, Ava. And I really like I can't even like pinpoint what smell this is supposed to be. It's supposed, to, oh yeah, vanilla snowflake. But like, and like got it has like a different smell to it. It's like. So I kind of got this fruity smell. It's like a fruity vanilla smell, but like in a good way. And it smells awesome. Like if that's how snowflakes are supposed to smell, then dang, it's awesome. Um, yeah. Owie, that's the wrong bag. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. So the other one we got was Frosted... That's weird. But yeah, we got Frosted Cranberry. That's weird. Like, this one's filled up more than this one. That's weird. Anyways, we got Frosted Cranberry, and it smells just like cranberries. And it's a really nice Christmassy smell. I really like this. I really like both of them. Um, and I just gotta say, go you, Bath & Body Works, and your cute little designs for your candles. Like, ugh. Obsessed. Hey, look, there's my ponytail. I left it in the bag. And then the last thing we got from Bath & Body Works was this little... Thing, a little candle holder and I'm really happy about that and whoopsie doopsie so I gotta put that back but it's so cute it's got this it's got these little trees and that little snowman and it looks really cool like just in the actual candle if you guys want me to show you then I'll show you oh it makes scary sounds but it looks like this and it looks cute and yeah it's adorbsies as my mom would like to say. <laughs> ah, itchy. Okay. So yeah, let's put these back. But yeah, so we just exchanged those two candles for those two. And yeah. Moving on to... Where should I move on to? Who should I move on to? I would say Yankee Candle, but like, I don't know. So like, Bubba and, my, and Mommy went to like, go through all of the things together. And my mom just came home and uh, she was like, oh, we were supposed to do that together. I was like, oh, we were? I'm so sorry. So I kind of like want to leave Yankee Candle 
for Bubba and I to like open and go through later because like I've kind of already unwrapped the other two candles from Bath and Body Works. I mean, it's not a big deal, but like I want to like save something for him. But uh, I, I already know what's in them. One's dragon, like okay, so the Yankee candle at the outlets are like. Like, they're kind of, it's one of the stores where it's kind of like all the ones that kind of like don't sell in the Yankee Candles kind of get sent to the outlets, if that makes sense, because there's a lot of old scents that like, some are like summer and some are like scents that they don't even use anymore. Um, so one's Dragon, like, one's drag one is Dragon Watermelon or something. It's like, yeah. And it smells really good. It's like this tropical, pretty much just smells like watermelon, like a fruity watermelon tropical smell. Uh, another one is, uh, Fresh Cut Roses, and literally my friend Grace had this in our room, and I was obsessed with it, and I finally got my own candle, and it literally smells just like roses, and I'm so happy about that. And then there's one more, which I'm, was a Christmas one I got, and I forget what it was called. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, no, it wasn't, I don't know. It was something like that. Whatever. So, yeah. And they all smell awesome. And, yeah. Bubba had been looking for that little dragon fruit. The, the, the like, the, the watermelon one for, like, years now. Because he smelled it. And he never got it. And now we finally found it again. And he's so happy. And, yeah. So, so good in the hood. Let me show you the bag. It's cute. It's Christmassy. Um. Ah. So yeah, we went to the Disney store and okay, so we all so we went Friday night, then we went to, during the day on Saturday. Uh, and can I just say something? Uh, I, we're the type of family that entered the Disney store and started singing along to those songs. My mom and I sang the whole song of Frozen with some backup from Bubba. But I got Eeyore and his tail actually comes off and can be taped on like that. It's so cute. And we got this cute little ornament to go on our tree this year. And my mom got this shirt, which is currently not in here, but it's a cute, like, vil Disney villain shirt. She's going to wear it in Disney. And then we got me this adorable little night shirt and says, I'm all about that. I'm all about dots. And it's so cute. And it's Minnie Mouse. And I'm really happy about it. <coughs> yeah. Put that in there. What am I missing from my life? Okay, so we also went to Beer Bradley, and I had a gift certificate because it's my birthday this month, obviously. And you know, like some like store some cer certain stores like to send you like gift certificates, and then also it's an outlet store, and they had like a fifty like they had like a discount on the store and whatever. So we got this really cute like carry on for like the airport when I go to Disney, and I'm really excited about it. It's so cute, and I love it, and. It's wheelie. I like wheels, like things that can be rolled and it also can be held like this. And it's just really helpful because like I have divorced parents, so like going from house to house, this will actually be this not actually, this will definitely be helpful. This would definitely be helpfuler, helpfuler, whatever. Definitely be more helpful when I'm going from house to house and just things like that. Yeah. <laughs> um Moving on, I actually, well, like, the first place we went to was Under Armour, and so pretty, and this, we got these on Saturday, uh, so pretty much it was crazy, we went crazy in Under Armour, because they had a 50% off the entire store, so everything was 50% off, and I got new sneakers, even, uh, and I actually, a couple weeks ago, just got new Nikes, so I got, I got two new, new, that, new pairs of sneakers, and I'm really happy about both of them. I think they're both really, really cute. And I actually just wore these for the first time today. Well, I wore them yesterday, but, like, to school for the first time today. And I'm really happy about both of them. They're both really, really cute. And I like both of them. And then we both... But, yeah, so, uh, we got other stuff from Under Armour. We actually got shoes for the whole family. I, I don't really know what I was just saying back then. Because, like, my phone kind of, like, like, the storage was full. So, yeah, I kind of just had to, like pick up from wherever but yeah so we all got under armor stuff but, like i don't really feel like showing all of it so yeah uh oh, yeah. i already made this video really really long um yes this this ah then at target oh my gosh target made me really christmasy too they had peeps reindeer peeps snowman peeps 
Christmas tree peeps. So you know me, I had to get all the peeps and I'm so excited, I'm so happy about all of this. And I actually got new vans and they're actually high tops and they're pink and they had banana they have bananas on them because I had other vans but they didn't fit. Like my mom got me other vans at another outlet store a couple weeks like two weeks like last week, but they didn't fit, so we returned them, got other ones, and I'm really excited about them and like they're all the way over there. Like, do you really want me to show you? Oh, just, 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 pulse. It's so, so unnecessary. Um, <laughs> so they just look like this, and I'm really excited about them, and they're really cute, and I'm so excited to wear them in Disney. Um, that's really the only inspiration that there was to actually getting new sneakers, was to have sneakers in Disney, because I am a terrible walker. Like, I, I don't know, I've just always had problems with my feet since I was younger. Like, it's something with my foot, I just don't know what it's called. I'm missing my arch or something, I don't know. Like, it makes my feet get tired very fast, like normal, like faster than the average human being I guess so we wanted to get shoes that were like sturdy for me so we got the Nikes and then of course there was a sale at the uh, eight, uh, Under Armour so we just got them like I really like them and they're really nice and they're really comfy and my feet need comfy shoes and then my mom she's just awesome so she got me Vans as well and yeah so I'm just I just want to say thank you guys for watching and I'm so blessed for all the things I've got